What is up, the apologize, man? I had to fix a few things, man. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are doing some Forza Horizon 5 and hey, chilling out, man. Now, before I start this stuff, I do want to say congratulations to Forza Horizon 5 for taking the game here. For innovation and accessibility, man. Huge shout out to the Forza franchise, man. It's super dope. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to smack that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell down below. And with that being said, man, let's get it. Hope you guys are ready for some fun, dude. Because today is going to be fun. Hey, shout out to Piggy Smalls. What up, Piggy? How you doing? How you doing, Smalls? And you know I gotta do this once. You know I gotta do this one, Piggy Smalls, but you know I gotta do a sandlot, man. You know I gotta pull a sandlot on this one, man. You're killing me, Smalls. You know I gotta do that, man. You know, you know I had to do that one, man. Oh, the Symphony Z feels good. And this is just pure stock, too. Holy shit. Alright, 
It's right there, okay. Oh man, how are you guys doing on this Saturday morning? Is it raining where you guys are at? Because it's pouring here, man. I'm going to turn this up a little for you guys. Is it raining where you guys are at right now? Because it's pouring down here. Throw this thing in manual settings right quick. I don't always crash, but when I do, I make it look good. I'm just saying, man, when I crash, I make that shit look good. Let's hit this dirt road right here. Now, I do want to do a custom rally race for you guys that I created the other day. So, I might get into that a little bit later. Ooh, yo, this shit is sketchy. I like these kinds of roads. Yo, hold on, is there a barn front over here? Hold up. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, we got us another bash board. Let's go. We got that fast travel. Ooh, okay, so we got to hold up. We got some danger zone here. Oh, we got a speed trap. Let's see how far this road goes down. Oh, yeah, dude, we can make this. And yes, we are ripping around a Rachel Teller's ride from the Speed Underground, too, man. As you can clearly tell, dude, we are just. Just going at it right now. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was a fence. 
But before we hit that danger sign, let's hit this thing up over here. Let's hit up this story mission over here. Hey, I'll mow your grass for you. I can do it for free in like a couple of seconds. Show your skills. All right, so let's start singing the drift mode right quick. So I need to get 210,000 points. Dude, that'll be easy, bro. 210k, bro, that'll be a cinch. Change the wheel angle and suspension a little. Okay, I change the suspension a lot. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. Yo, for real, man. Traffic is getting on my nerves, man. Just barely missed that.
Are you serious? I think those guys still have to play if you want another run. Otherwise, it's not a good idea. Dude, this shit is fun, bro. Took it. It's you. Bring it in and let's get you those new tires. <laughs> You'll take like you that fun with that. Oh wow, I'm really good. Yo, Crip K, what's good, brother? Yeah, I got a bit carried away. Mm, let's go, go, man. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is three stars, man. Let's go. Yes. Yo, Skip Tracer, what up? How's everybody doing today, man? Yo, El Gerardo, what's up, brother? Oh, man, how's everybody doing today, though? For real, like, how are you guys? What are you guys up to today? Oh, hold up. Come on. Give me that wheel spin, baby.
I'm gonna see something right quick. Oh yes, Car Master is there. Hard K, I'll take it. Hell oh, yeah. Now I am going to switch out to one of my drift cars real quick, just because I want to have a little fun. Let's switch it out to my Nissan 240, man. Let's fucking get it. Sorry, dude. I'd rather do it like this because it's more unique, man. I like standing out, bro. I don't do capture cards, man. I like being raw and unique with my stuff, bro. Oh, yeah, that was supposed to be a dig. That was a failed dig, bro. Just saying. Nice fun, nice fail though. Nice attempt though, bro. Just saying. I'll give you an A for effort. How about that? I'll give you an A for effort. I bought it right there, but we're good though. Yeah, you know it's tradition. Oh man, I can't do it here. Damn. Also, I can do that round, do a roundabout around that tree. I don't think I've ever been through here, so let's shred through here. Oh, yeah, I have. Damn. Okay, this shit's fun. This 240 can get it, bro. Damn. Ah, damn. I didn't hold it through there all the way. But that's all good, though. Dude, this 240 feels so good when it slides. Like, I have no complaints about this thing. 
Oh, one of my favorite switchback spots. Dip into there. That's why I like to call one of my dip in spots because you kind of dip into the other corner and you kind of clutch kick your way out of it. Let's see if we can hit a 360 coming out of here. Oh, now I claim 360 when it was a full send nonetheless, bro. That was sick. Let's go, dude. Backwards entry coming through. Oh man, this thing feels so good. Just, oh man, I love my 240, bro. It feels good. Oh, yep. 360 out of that. shredding for now man we're about to get into some shit I'm gonna get through here and park this thing Marcus fought anybody? Damn, dude. Dude, we should have killed that. Ah, oh, just news. Well, let's see what the news says, though. Ah, I was just saying thanks for that. All right, cool. Now, let's switch this thing up to race mode right quick.
I want to turn everything out on full. Make this thing as realistic as we possibly can. Now we're about to get it. Now the other day I did actually just pick up a brand new ride here, so I'm gonna get to it here. What's that? No. Dude, where's it at? Yo, there it is. Let's go. The Pagani's on the R2010. Let's go. Just pure stock this thing wants to go, dude. Damn. Oh yeah, she wants to go alright. Jesus. Easy girl, damn. Oh, damn, the thing can go, man. Holy shit. Yeah, this thing handles really well, though. I'm actually impressed. Well, I almost took a wrong turn there. Yo, is that the highway? Yo, that's the highway. Hold up. That is a mother freaking highway, man. We gotta get to it, man. We gotta do a pull on the highway. Thankfully, there's a way up there. Oh, you know, that's not that way. That's the festival. Oh, man. Let's say I'm not for the highway.
Let's do a speed run with this thing. Let's see what we can do. Holy shit, this thing's quick. Bro, holy shit. Oh, damn. Let's see how well the braking power on this thing works. Dude, this is gonna be a monster on the track, I can already tell you. Oh damn, I didn't even realize, dude, I didn't even realize we were heading in this direction, holy shit. Dude, uh, hey, we just made top 24, let's go. Top 24% now, let's go, dude. But yeah, this Pagani's on the R is definitely very well balanced for a car with no grip. Turn around. Yeah, it's a good song. I'm not hitting that. Because I already did this one. I don't need to do it again. Thank you anyway. If you guys are new to Horizon, man, this one actually actually does take place in Mexico. So, if you're a fan of Mexico, man, you guys will definitely love this. And we got a cross-country race. Let's go. Let's get that cross country run. Ooh, this is going to be a toughie, man, because we got some good ones up in here today. But I got to do it, man. I got to go with. You know, let's go with the Brocky, man. I've got to do it, man. i got to go with the Hoonicorn Bronco, man. I can't say no, man. It's a Hoonicorn Bronco. It's a fucking Hoonicorn Bronco, man. Let's go. All right, come on. This is Ken Block's Bronco, bro. You can't go wrong with, with a Ken Block car. You can't do it. Oh, if I didn't mention it before, I am. I do apologize, but 
We are on 900 degrees of rotation with manual with clutch engage. So in case you guys are wondering what I'm running, I'm running 900 degrees of rotation with manual with clutch. Let's go, bro. Oh, damn. Let's see if we can catch up here. Hopefully we can. And yeah, there's no way we're gonna be able to catch up. Yeah, we're definitely not catching on this round, but that's okay, though. Dude, get your ass in Xbox One, bro. We'll fucking get it, dude. I'll rock with you, homie. Chris, you already, dude, Chris, you already know you're pretty much like my little brother, man. You already know that you're pretty much family, dude. Get your ass in Xbox One. And we'll fucking throw down. Since I don't have to do anything for this, I'll just do highly skilled. So I don't need anything on highly skilled. Because this isn't like one of those events that... And I'll tell you, man, if you ain't got yourself a wheel rig for this thing, man, definitely do it. It makes it way more fun. Are you serious? That did not just fucking happen. Bro. Uber. I'm, hey, Uber is here. I'm here to deliver your food. Playing leapfrog. I see you back there, motherfucker. You ain't getting by me, bro.
You ain't getting by there. I see you back there. Damn, Double Jump. What is this? Fucking Super Mario? landed on that guy. Bro, that shit is tough, dude. Damn. Bro, that shit is... Holy crap. You know, I may have to switch up rides, man. I may have to go for my... My rally car, because that thing is holy fuck, dude. All right, don't get me wrong. I like my Bronco, man. I all know I'm a huge fan of Hoonicorn. Huge fan of, you know, a huge fan of the Hoonicorn. A huge fan of the of the Hoonigan brand. 100%. Mad shout out to Ken Block, but dude. I don't think that car was meant for that. I'll trust you, I'm not quitting the race, dude. I'm literally just going in to switch out cars. That's all I'm doing is I'm switching out. Give me a better ride, dude. Oh, actually, hold on. Here's a race right up here we can do right quick while I'm at it. You know, let's go for my rally tuned one here. Now, this one is tuned for off road dirt runs, so this will be fun. This one is actually properly tuned for off road runs, aka rally cross. So, we we have to, we about to get some rally runs in. Now, I didn't choose the custom one just because I wanted to try it stock real quick before I do my custom rally car. So, we about to get it. Also, if you guys are just not joining the stream, man, welcome. How are you guys? How are you guys doing today, man? Like, what's up with you guys? Yo, Chris, speaking of which, bro, Chris, what's up on your end of things, bro? I know things got pretty hectic last night. Oh shit, we got the homie slap up in here. Oh shit, we got the homie slap train up in here, man. Oh shit, this just got interesting. Shit just got interesting, bro. Come on, slap. What you got, big dog? Come on, slap train. What you got, brother? You may be my favorite YouTuber slap, but yeah. I ain't letting you win this one, dog. Sorry, bro. Move it or lose it, fuckers. And we got Silly 2. Oh, shit, we got the legendary Silly 2K up in this bitch. Okay. Now shit just got real interesting. And of course he'd be driving the freaking buggy. Oh, of course you would, Sylvie. Oh.
You do the slot tad. Sorry, Sylvie. Didn't want to do one, man, but I had to, brother. Wait, how the hell did I miss the checkpoint? Oh, bro, you want to play that game? Okay. Slap. I see you, dog. Hey, whether I win or lose this thing, if I could at least beat, bro, whether I win or lose, man, if I could at least beat Slap, then I'm good, bro. Come on, Slap. What you got, dog? This one, yeah, he's falling on me, bro. There's no way I'm gonna win that one. Damn, man. I thought maybe I was gonna get him on that one, but nope. Okay, so now that I know the course, now I know what I can do. So let's lower the grip a bit. All right, so those are lowered down. There we go. Now we should be able to get by him. Really slot. Sorry, brother. I see you, Sylvie. I'm coming for you, brother. Bye, Sylvie. Bye, Sylvie. Ha! Tanked your ass up, didn't I, Sylvie? Let's go. Nope, you ain't getting by me, so yeah, I hear you back there, motherfucker. Oh, really? This, who was it that just ran into me? Oh, that did it. Oh, great, it's Devin. Okay, Dev, I got you, bro. I got you, Dev.
let's go. We're approaching that first place spot, boy. Hey, not bad. It wasn't exactly first, but hey, not bad. We finished top five, at least. That's actually not bad. Let's go, and we're walking away with 100K. Hey, we may not walk away with the win, but hey, we walked away with 100K. Can't go wrong with that. Granted, if we took first, we would have walked away with more, but hey, we walked away with something dope. Oh shit, we got Classic Games Canada up in this shit. What's up? Yo, we got Classic Games Canada up in this shit. What's good, bro? How you doing, man? It's been a minute. What's up? Oh shit. Now, I did hear that the legendary Don Juan song did create an event on Event Lab. So, we're about to pull over here to the side. And we're about to check it out and see if he actually did it. Yeah, Car Mastery is... Let's go. I have 50k. I'll take it. No, he's like, well, something for but not that. All right, let's head over to the event lab here. Yo, he did. Let's go. Yo, you know we got to do this, man. Shout out to Don Juan song, man. Yo, we got to do this, bro. We have got to fucking do this one, man. You can't do Horizon 5 and not do a DJS one, man. You can't do it. So for this one, we are going to go with the 918 Spider-Man. One of my personal favorites, actually. And if y'all don't know who Don Juan's song is, man, hook him up, man. He's got some great content. So shout out to DJS, man. What's good, bro? Love the content. Keep that shit up, man. 
And we're rocking the collectible Forza rap, dude. And we're rocking the collector's edition of Forza vinyl rap, dude. Hell yes. <laughs> what did you do? Bruh, figure it out for yourself, Venge. Yo, what the hell? Do my sound just cut? Alright, that's weird, because I'm used to seeing the little sound bar, bro. Oh, and uh, by the way, Ange. Deuces. Sorry, I don't need a fucking troll like you hanging around. Just saying, man, I don't need a troll like Ange hanging around. Alright, here we go, guys. Alright, DJ. And we got the roof down on this one. Let's go. Oh, hello. I forgot this thing was this fucking fast. Oh, shit. Ooh, oh, bro, we almost slid between there. Oh. Yeah, see, right there is where I fucked up. Oh, really? Y'all want to put me into the wall like that? Y'all really want to put me into the wall like that? Really? Yo, who the fuck? Yo, maybe I chose the wrong one because this thing is way too quick. Out the way, boys. Oh. Bro, how did I not see that? Yo, I'm going to need to do some fucking trail breaking going up here, bro. Travel Jam. Oh, 
Oh shit, let's go. We're in first. Let's go. Oh damn, this dude legit made a fucking circuit. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to come back to this one, dude. That shit is tough, bro. Shout out to DJS for actually making a realistic circuit run, dude. That was dope. That kind of reminds me of the uh, Portugal run on Motorsport 7. Not bad, DJS. Not bad at all, brother. Not bad. I like that. Get on you, man. Now, I also will be playing some Split Gate later on today as well. And if you don't know what Split Gate is, imagine Halo and Portal having a kid, and that's what Split Gate is. It's pretty fucking dope. What the hell? How did I end up here? Oh, okay, apparently I ended up on a roof. Don't know how, but uh, okay. Don't know how I ended up on a roof, but... So apparently I did. Let's see how fun it is. Oh, we got a toge, bro. We got to do this toge battle, man. Let's go, dude. I'm hyped, man. I love me a good toge battle. I love me a good toge run, man. Let's go. And for this one, we are going to go with... Yeah, this thing's literally trying to fight me right now. Ooh, we got the GTO. We got this. You know what, fuck, man. Let's go with the Skyline GTR V spec, man. Gotta go with the V spec, man. You can't, you can't go wrong with a Skyline. Yo. Holy shit. And we got the dope ass Tasha Raptor boot. Looking clean as hell, man. Oh, come on. Really lag now? Come on now. There we go. But, dude, look at how clean this skyline is, man. And we're rocking the beautiful black and whitey Tasha wrap. Let's go. 
Mmm. Beautiful, man. Look at that thing, man. That is sexy. Mmm. Bro, if you guys are into anime and you like cars, put them both together and this is what you get. A beautiful fucking ride like this. Sexy ass fucking skyline. Wrapped with an anime Itasha wrap. Looking super clean. Super nice. And just, mmm. This right here is definitely one of my dream cars for sure is a, is a GTR Skyline, man. And we're rocking the GTS Nismos. Bro, this thing is taking forever, man. Oh, yeah, this thing's definitely taking a while, so I may have to reload it. But before I reload it, I do want to show you guys something right quick. For those of you that are wondering what the Tasha community is about, well, you're about to find out, man. Ah, figures. Watch my internet. Actually, I want to see if any of the guys are on. Yo, Nick's playing. Yo, shout out to the homie AR12 Gaming, man. What's good, Nick? So, Nick, if you watching this, bro, what up, dude? Yo, the only boy that just got a new car. Yo, here we go. Here's a perfect video to introduce you guys into the Itachi car world. Let's go. I thought Itasha was just an excuse for people to put pictures of anime girls making weird faces all over their cars, right? Yes and no. Let me explain. Shout out to Nori Auto, man. I watched Zero Eyes. Shout out to Nori Auto, We're man. We're here today in the Sky Park Resort in Nagano for the Itasha Vision Photo Session Meeting. The Japanese word for car is kuruma, and when you combine this kanji with other characters, you can change what sort of car you're talking about. For example, Japanese car is Nihonsha, Amesha, American car, Itasha, Italian car, or is it? Because the internet likes to make a big joke out of things, these guys change the character from Italian, Ita, to this one, Ita, which means pain. So these things are called Itasha, or painful cars, and there's a good reason for it. Because any normal person walking down the street who sees one of these cars is going to go like this. So let's have a walk around the car park and I will try and explain. Dude, I'd be in heaven, bro. I would be straight up in motherfucking these, heaven with this uh, shit. Cars. And some of them are actually really good as far as tuned cars go. Yo, Attack on Titan's good, good, bro. Even if it didn't no cap, Attack on Titan's the, uh, good. Pretty decent show car. It's low. Lexus brake conversion. It has stereo in the back. But why put this character on there? 
All right, let's use this Mark X. As yeah, I like that Mark X. Uh, yeah. Genres of characters they use. And this one, Kotori Minami, is from a virtual idol singing group called Love Live. Now, these are characters who are in like a virtual idol group. Not going to lie to you, that's fire. There's various kinds of media, like video games and anime and all sorts of things like that, that they're in. And of course, the question is, why do they choose certain characters? Well, the word for that is called this, oshi. And oshi means push in Japanese. And it's basically the person or character that you are cheering for, that you are hoping does well, the one you want to see the most. Right? Uh, in English, like in K-pop, they say a stan, which uh, comes from that uh, Eminem song about uh, a creepy stalker. And there's quite a few of these uh, virtual idol singing groups. So uh, there's a lot of characters to choose from. So that's a uh, one Yo, that is, dude, that right there is dope. So. Now this one here, very nice crown. This is from the Fate series. Yo! To explain, Fucking uh, to Saber, imagine. dude. A whole lot of uh, mythology. Uh, got a fucking Saber on a ride? What's so good, good, bro? We got a fucking Saber from the Fate Stay series? Super Hell yeah. So a full, cool body kit. So as you can see, most of these cars so far are fairly close to being show cars. Proper wheels. Ooh. A lot of big brake kits. Yo, is that fucking one it's piece, bro? Genre of Itasha, the uh, race style. Nice. So if you took away, uh, you know, the virtual idol... It would look pretty close to being a, a regular race car. Like it would look too out of place on a racetrack. Is it Brembo brakes, Volk wheels? I don't know. I thought that was one piece of person, dude. That is sick. Another race style. This time, uh, Strike Witches theme. Now, this one's Yo. Uh, if you don't know what it is. So, imagine... Okay, here's another word you need to know. Gijinka. Gijinka means... Uh, what does it mean? Pseudo-human... You take an inanimate object, for example, World War II, I guess, fighter planes and uh, like fighter pilots from World War II, combine them with anime schoolgirls, and that's what you have. So that's their logo, Strike Witches. They f sort of fly around and fight uh, these alien robot sorts of things. So this is connected to what's also known as military otaku, or people who like uh, military stuff. And as you can see, she's carrying a Type 99 auto cannon, you know, like the cannons that were on airplanes. This is the one which is used on Japanese fighter planes. And uh, I think it's based on the the uh, German Ehrlichen 20 millimeter cannon. You, you all thought this was just like putting girls on cars, right? No, 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 no. This is one of the civics from Fast and Furious. Yo, get out. That is sick. It is, isn't it? These things are still kicking around. Look, it's got the NOS in the back. What? Bro, oh, that's wow. lit. Yeah, it's a bit of a throwback. And uh, it has Hayasaka from Kaguya somewhere on it. <laughs> Never thought I'd see that. So if you're thinking, yeah, whatever, it's just a bunch of stickers on some mildly modified cars, whatever. Well, there is actually innovation happening in the Itasha world as Ooh, well. Okay. This Roadster and this FD RX-7 are from a shop called K-Concept in Gotemba. And they're showcasing a technique, which is actually kind of cool. What they've done here is lay a semi-transparent print over a reflective silver base layer. So when you change angle in the sun... As you can see with uh, Fubuki here, her eyes Yo, and her sword it. and like the sword slash glow. And the cool thing is, is there's no seam because it's just one laid over the other. So it's just one flat layer so you don't get those little ripples. That's really cool. Not going to lie, that's a sick. Bunny kit, uh, Ooh, okay, I got, got a rocket bunny. on this 8.6 and uh, Sword Art Online. It's an uh, Yo, it's like fucking awesome Asuna, like hell yeah. Genre where you get swept away into another universe with, you know, magic and whatever. Okay, now this one, uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit harder to explain. If you don't really understand uh, live streaming or virtual idols, uh, yeah, it kind of blew up over the past couple of years. This uh, 34 four-door has uh, apparently a real GTR front bumper. 
It's got the uh, Z tune style front fenders. And uh, this character here, this is uh, known as uh, Horsho Marin, who is a, for lack of a better word, um, a horny pirate. <laughs> hey, he's not wrong. He's not wrong on that. Uh, this character, uh, Fubuki, is a fox god sort of character. Yeah. And there's also this character, uh, Minato Aqua, who is uh, like a maid sailor slash onion. Once again, race style. It's the sort of case you see like in Forza, if you play those sorts of games. Yep. Okay, full Brembo kit, raised wheels, Toyo proxy, stripped out interior. It's got a flocked uh, dash as well. And yeah, there's always a little references on these cars to the characters. For example, uh, Aqua is known for killing people with TNT in Minecraft. So Facts. those three are probably the most popular Hollow Life characters. Uh, there's a couple more. Um, Mirai, who is a princess from the future, and Kanata, who is uh, an angel. I'm not really even talking about the cars, am I? This is still a decent meet, even if you're not into this sort of thing. Hell yeah. Something really notable about these cars is they're all done very well. Like, they all have expensive wheels, you know, good brake kits, nice seats, a lot of accessories. You know, they're all just done well. There's a lot of brand names here and there. And like I said, even if you're not into... Yo, that's fire, bro. Uh, that's sick. Virtual idols who are fighting robots, like Robocop. It's still a cool-looking roadster. And this one's a bit more subtle. Oh. Uh, this one is from a video game. This is uh, Aya Tamimaru, who is a Tengu god, which is like sort of a giant uh, crow god sort of figure and uh, the video game this is from is one which is known as a Danmaku or bullet hell remember those old games where you know stuff would fly down from the top of the screen and you'd shoot it well that's what this is and it's got the uh, crow style feathers all the way down the back it's actually really well done that is actually cool and Not it gonna is lie. A GTR here's another style that I've noticed a lot here today uh, I'm just going to call it shadow style, where the print is not necessarily super obvious. Either, you know, the print is sort of half clear or you can't see it from one angle, but you can see it from another angle. Okay, that's just cool. This year has been extremely... Now, now, now you guys kind of have a good feel for like what that is. So the Automata Tasha fans out there, what's good? Wait for this to load back in. And we are going to get down to that toge battle to finish it off, man, which I'm super hyped for, man. Sadly, guys, I'm not able to. Unfortunately, I can't do that right now. Because my family doesn't want him on camera due to everything that happened the last time. So unfortunately I can't, but maybe one day. Maybe one day that'll happen, but not right now. Uh, with all this craziness going on, there's no way I can. I know, it sucks, like, believe me guys, I want to be able to show you guys just as badly, but due to Wayne Glory Hole and them calling the, um, uh, basically to kill that deal with animal cruelty, uh, basically because of Wayne Glory Hole calling those people and stuff, I kind of have to hold off on it for a while, which sucks. 
I know it sucks. I want to show you guys. Believe me, I do. I would love to introduce you guys to the newest member of our family for sure. But unfortunately, due to winning Glory Hole, we kind of have to keep it on the DL for now. So, you know, it sucks, I know. But I promise you guys, first chance I get, once this whole Wayne Glory Hole crowd is over with, I will be trying to bring my dog Rugrat on camera for you guys, for y'all to see. If y'all know, yes, that's the newest member of our family. His name is Rugrat because he's so tiny. He's a Rugrat, pretty much. Now, let's get to this Toge battle, shall we? Oh, we got a beautiful 2020 Supra. Let's see if we got any rare cars here. Bruh, have these I already own. Welcome back, Wolf. Thanks. But I am going to edit my name real quick. Go for one of my favorite ones that I fucking love. Alright, man, you guys ready to get down with the freaking toge battle? Whoa, hold up. Was I getting that high speed out of this thing? Holy shit. Damn. Bro, that was quick. I was not expecting that, to be honest with you. Now, let's get down to this toge battle, man. Let's have a little fun. So it don't take too long to load in this time around. Mm. 
Man, it's loading slowly, but it's loading. Some of these do take a while to load, which sucks. Oh, and I wanted to at least get one toe to fight in. And also, in case you guys are wondering, yes, I am going to be working on a Natasha photo book to release for you guys. So that is going to happen. I know a lot of people are wondering, am I ever going to do a car photography book full of different cars? And the answer is yes, I am working on that. So that, that's going to be fun. I'm definitely excited about that project, but that was going to take a while. That one is going to take a while, but I am super pumped about it. Yeah, this thing's taking way too long. So I am going to end it off right here, guys. I do apologize for it, you know, taking so long. Oh, I am going to set up for... Oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. Never mind. I retract that statement. Hold on. We may just have some here. Hold up. Never mind. I return my previous statement. Dude, what does this guy do? Load an entire planet onto this freaking map? Like, is that why it's so slow? Because he loaded up an entire freaking planet worth of freaking content onto this thing, dude? Like, what are you trying to do, man? Combine Forza's, Forza Horizon 1, 2, 3, and 4 along with 5? Like, come on, man. Bruh, that's just the glare off my freaking window, bro. Ooh, okay, this dude's got a proper toga set up for Japan type deal. Okay. Damn, bro. Okay, homie's got the. Okay, this is the proper toge. Okay. Got the proper uh, Mount Haruna toge. Hell yes, bro. Got Mount Haruna up in this shit. What? Hold up. This man literally remade Mount Haruna, bro. That is sick. What? Get out, bro. This is sick. Dude legit remade Mount Haruna. A.K.A. Mount Akina from Initial D. That is so dope, dude. 
What? That is sick, bro. That is fire. I'm not even worried about, like, winning this thing at all, man. I'm just enjoying the cruise, man. This is sick. The dude legitimately remade. Bro, this is fire. What? Bro, you gotta be creative to come up with shit like this. This is legitimately a proper fucking toge, dude. This is sick. Oh. And of course you throw that in the way though. Honestly, bro, I don't even care if I win the toge battle or not. This is just so fucking cool. Yo, can I squeeze the ring? Oh yeah, I can. Yo, this is... Bro, why can't they throw this as, like, a legitimate map on Horizon, bro? Dude, it's been a while since I've raced Toge runs. Last time I did a Toge run was on... I don't even remember, dude. Actually, the last Toge run I did was Grid 2019, bro. And that toge run was tough. Like, that show was hard. Bro, this is nuts. Bro, this is crazy. Bro, this is wild. Holy shit, this is actually just like a real fucking toge in Japan. This is so sick. Bro. Mad props to this dude for making this. This is lit. Yo, this takes some fucking skill to make this kind of shit. Hold up, we gotta restart that. Bro, that is insane. The dude literally took the time to remake a fucking Japanese mountain toge. That takes fucking talent. And since we are new to this, we are just gonna go straight up tourist. Bro, that takes fucking skill to do shit like that. Oh my god, dude, this is wild.
Oh, bro, dude, I, dude, Red Dead 2 is my shit, bro. I like Red Dead Redemption 2. So, hell yeah, bro. I'll play the shit out of that. I'm not going on a bit of a murder spree, but yeah, I'll, I'll play some Red Dead 2. Oh. Bro, this is a proper toge fight. Let's go. Dude, I don't like this. I'm definitely gonna... I'm definitely gonna favorite this shit, for real. Like, this is fire. Dude, Devlin, man, like, if, like, if you got what you need to send it, bro, if it's hard copy, fuck, send that shit over. I'm down to play some Red Dead too, man. Yo, I legit feel like I'm in fucking Japan right now, like straight up. Somebody made this an actual track on a freaking Forza game or something, bro. Give this man a gold fucking medal. Like, give this man creator of the fucking year award. For real. Like, this dude did good with this. Like, this is, bro... I cannot make this up. Like, this is legitimately, like, an actual toge in Japan, bro. Like, make this man part of Playground Games, man. Yo, turn 10. Fucking hire this guy. If you don't fucking hire this guy, you're fucking stupid. Hire this guy as a fucking track creator, for real. Let's go. Even on tourist mode, that was hard, bro. Bro, I gotta watch that replay. That was so sick. Hold on, let me record this. That was literally the craziest toge run of my life. Without a doubt, that was crazy.
Dude, that, bro, that Toge run was sick. I gotta record this for the channel, bro. I got to. Yo, just the attention to detail on this shit is insane, dude. Like, this guy literally is freaking nuts. Like, this guy takes so much attention to detail, bro. Like, that is crazy. Bro, I need to tune a car for mountain racing now, bro. I actually need to tune a car for this track. Dude, just the attention to detail on this mat. Like, bro, I'm actually impressed. I did not ever think that Sony would actually do this. This is legit, like, bro. Like, that was legitimately a fun track. Yo, I am favoriting that shit. I'm actually going to go in right now and I'm going to favorite that shit. That was legitimately hard. Like, that was a fucking challenge. Oh, and we got the Kuda Hemi. Let's go. Ah, oh, right above the Mercedes AMG one. You could have just given me the AMG one, and I would have been happy. But dude, that Toge run was fucking sick, dude. Bro, that's some shit straight out of Initial D, like, for real. Wow. 
Like, that legitimately takes some... That's like a whole other level of creativity, man. For real. Like, that was... Dude. Oh, let's go. And we got a wheel spin out of that. Let's go. Hell yeah. Give me my wheel spin, bro. Oh, got to try and man. Dude, I am literally going to go there and I'm going to I'm going to put that shit in my favorites real quick cuz that was so much fun. Hell yes. That was fun. Osaka Sideways, actually. Now, let's see what we got on Horizon Super 7. Now, I did hear that AR-12 did actually make a Rainbow Road. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. Challenge cards from all over Horizon are kept here. You can browse the greatest hits or go searching for something unique. Yo, he did. Let's go. But dude, that toge, that dude, that toge has to be my all-time favorite. Like, you give me like, you ask me what my favorite track of all time is. It would definitely have to be that toge that I just did a few minutes ago. Straight up. Like that shit was. Bro, that was on another level. Like, without a doubt, that shit was on another level of creative. So, turn 10, if you guys don't hire the dude that made that Toge track, you're out of your fucking minds. Fucking hire that man. Make him part of your fucking creative team. Dude fucking deserves it. Yo, he actually made Rainbow Road. What? Okay, we're doing a Mario Kart throwback here. Oh my god, he actually made a rainbow road. Bro, what? Oh shit. Hold it. No, no, Nick, Nick. Where are you going, Nick? Oh shit, it's a legitimately rainbow road. What the fuck? This is bananas. Oh, bro. This is wild. Shout out to Nick. Oh, 
dude, this guy legitimately made Rainbow Road. This is crazy. Oh my god, bro. This is dope. Okay, this is sketchy. Oh, when did it just barely, but we got it. No, dude. Bro, this is crazy. Nick, you're a fucking genius, man. I swear to fucking God, bro. I need to slow up right there. Bro, this shit is hella tough. Oh, sketchy. Oh, yeah. How do you expect us to make that, dude? So sketchy. Bro, which way am I even supposed to go? Oh. Ah, dude, you sneak. You fucking sneak. Bro, this is legitimately a bro. I've never gotten this stuck on any course. Nick, you're an asshole for this. Making this shit hard. You fucking dick. No, I am not redoing that. Fuck that. Dude, I'd have an easier time on a freaking motocross bike. Bro, it's like fucking playing parkour with a fucking doom buggy, bro. Holy shit, I gotta do it three fucking times?
I'm not exactly out, but I'm stuck. Nick, you're a dick for this. Did I seriously just bounce out of that thing? Dude, how did I not? Oh, okay, my front ended. That's why. Dude, Nick, why do you have to make it so hard, dude? Fucking ran into me. I feel like I'm playing fucking parkour with a doom buggy right now, bro. Wait for real, I legit feel like I'm playing fucking parkour with a goddamn doom buggy. This shit is tough.
dude, that was tough, man. Damn, that was hard. Shit. Nick, even though I don't like that course, I'm going to like it for you. Oh, because I like your content. That's the only reason. That's the only reason I'm liking that track because I enjoy your content on YouTube. That's the only reason. On the norm, I would hate that shit. But for you, because I like your content, I'm liking it. Oh, damn. Oh, hold up. We got a rewards pack here. I'll take that. Yoink. Now, I do want to do my event for you guys to show you what I did. So, I'm going to go here to Event Lab, My Events. And now, I am going to challenge you guys to this track. If you guys do have... Horizon 4, or if you guys have Xbox One, and you have Game Pass, I am challenging you guys to this. So be sure to look up Retro Gamer Official to check out my tracks. So be sure to check out Master Rally Trial, and this one literally is like a giant ass Fucking rally course, which actually was inspired by uh, Glen Castle Farm, which is actually a legitimate rally course. Um, Glen Castle Farm is actually a real rally course in Scotland, so it was very largely inspired by that. So, yeah. Look up Master Rally Trial. We about to get it. Now for this one, I am going to take it off a of tourist. And I am going to do Unbeatable. Only because I know this track so well because after all, I did create it. So we about to slay this shit. Dude, I totally went off course on that. I don't know, and I came bombing around that hill way too quick. Do not hit that, do not hit that, thank you.
But as you can tell, man, this course is it's tough, man. One slip and you're you're gone. Oh, damn. So, that just happened. Oh, shit. We got slapped on the front. All right, slap. I got you, Pete. I got you, Petey. So as you guys know, I tell you, this course is definitely... It's definitely a tricky one.
So as you guys can tell, man, this shit's definitely tough. So if you guys would like to try your hand at it, by all means, go ahead. No. Not today, fuckers. Skip over part of the track without getting fucked over. But okay, we're good. Oh yeah, we got this in the bag. What's good? To the dub. So as you guys tell, that course is definitely a tricky as hell. So that's just one of my courses, man. So if you guys did like it, be sure to come over here and check it out. Hey. Anyways, y'all, that will do it for this episode of Forza Horizon 5. Um, if you guys would like to check out the Toge, the Toge run that I did, I will be posting the share code to that as well as to my Master Trial Rally. Or my rally to master trial. Or my master rally trial. Whatever you want to call it. I will be posting both share codes on Discord for you guys to check it out. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this man. If you did, be sure to smack that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell all found down below, man. To stay up to date on everything Cy Racing. I will be dropping some brand new Cy Racing merch here very, very soon. I am working on some stuff for that. So hopefully you guys will be looking forward to that. 
And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you did, be sure to smack that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell found down below, guys. And I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. I will see you guys here in just a little bit for some split gate, which I'm excited for. If you guys don't know what split gate is, like I said earlier, it's like imagine if the Halo games and the games of Portal had a kid. And that's basically what it is. It's super fun. So I will be hop I will be hopping on that. So I'm gonna take a break for about an hour, hour and a half, chill out, relax. And yeah. I'll see you guys here back on the channel for some split gay here in the next couple hours. With that being said, guys, man, I'm fucking love y'all. Stay home. Be, just remember, man, be yourself. Be humble. Be positive. Fuck the trolls, man. Just keep being you, dude. Keep doing you and, you know, fuck the trolls, man. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. I love every single one of you guys. And I'll catch you guys here, like I said, for some split game here in a couple hours, man. Fucking love you guys, man. I'm your boy, Star Racing. I'll catch y'all later, man. To all my drifters, stay sideways, man. And to all my racers out there, man, keep going as fast as you can. Don't look back, y'all. Stay humble, stay positive, stay motivated. And above all else, be yourself. Love you guys, man. Peace.